We say about our ballots the way some people say about their guns, from my cold, clammy hands. The fight for voting rights continues almost six decades later. The Martin Luther King Jr. Commemoration Committee held a rally in MLK Jr.'s Civil Rights Memorial Park to remember the March on Washington. It was during that march where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his iconic I Have a Dream speech. President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act of 1965 soon thereafter. But now, attendees like R.J. Johnson say all that work is being undone. The same challenges that were being faced 58 years ago, 60 years ago, are, are resurfacing today. The challenge to voting is, is the same, if not worse. Uh, it's just a rerun of, of the past. Activists point to various Supreme Court decisions that they say have gutted the Voters' Rights Act, giving state legislators throughout the country the power to pass voter suppression laws aimed at communities of color. Some people never intended for other people to share in the shaping of the history and the destiny of this country. The Brennan Center for Justice says 47 states have introduced bills aimed at making access to the ballot harder, which is why Mr. Johnson says it's critical that people know the fight for voting rights isn't over. Well, I think they're in jeopardy across this nation. And uh, if one domino falls, the next one will fall. So we need to stand up right here, right now. Organizers say they hope today's rally will encourage voters to make their voices heard and are demanding strong federal laws that will protect the right to vote and end state-sanctioned voter suppression. From Seattle, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.